Hello everyone, I'm Anakachi from Japan Unix. I'm Obata from Japan Unix 2. Today, I'm joined by Mr. Obata, who works in sales division. I've been asking for advice on various topics since the first year at the company, but I have several questions for you today. We are going to talk about a soldering robot, especially the one with a soldering iron tip and a module on it. I'd like to understand how we can successfully use these robots after installation, and what are key points to keep production consequences. Mr. Obata, how many robots have you sold in the last 13 years? I sell about 30 or 40 units per year alone. That would be quite a lot of units. It's between 300 to 400, and several thousand. I guess you've sold around 400 or 500 in total by yourself. That's quite a lot. You sold a lot in the last 13 years and must have great experience in robotic soldering. So, what are the key points on how to operate it well? Especially, I would like to learn how to maintain good soldering in daily production lines. Can you give us some maintenance tips for the successful operation of the soldering robot? Yes, first of all, please make sure to follow these three points. First, make sure that the soldering tip is kept in a constant state. The second is to check the solder feeding position. The last is to confirm the temperature of soldering tips. These three are important. So, what do you need to do and to keep the soldering tips in a good state? Yes, soldering tips often get stuck with carbides, that is charred flux. This carbide residue adheres to the edge of the tip and its surface. It causes to decrease the heat efficiency. I see, if carbides gets heat from the tip, it is no longer transmitted properly to where it needs to go. In addition, you'll leave dirt as flux residue on the printed board or components leads. It leaves dirt? Yes, it makes and causes it quite tricky. What is the best way to clean it? Well, we recommend to use automatic brushes and silicone brushes. Stick soldering irons into the cleaner, and wipe carbides off. Anyway, it's good as long as it stays and keep clean. Is there anything else I should do for the tip? To preserve the iron life, you should apply a little bit of solder to the tip. This will prevent tips from oxidizing, and prevent them from degrading. This is basic but quite effective, so please do this and put it away when it is in a standby state. Please add a bit of solder on the tip of the iron when not operating. It's simple but that's easy to forget. Make sure you should do this. If tips are oxidized, they cannot solder and transfer heat well. Please make sure that everyone follows this step. Okay, now, could you explain about maintaining the solder supply position? Yes, soldering supply position is a very important factor in the soldering process. The position differs and has a huge impact on solder wetting. There is like a needle that feeds solder to the tip of a soldering iron. Is it very fine tip needle? Yes, that's the kind of product, or rather, the specification of our robot. Well, the position of the solder supply should always be at the same position, every time. If not, will the solder go wrong direction or something? Yes, exactly as you pointed out. The solder will go wrong direction and, the amount of solder will become uneven and unstable. This is a very important point. Understandable. So, solder supply position is very important process management. You can reduce solder and defects if you check this point every day before your soldering operations. Okay, can you talk about tip temperature and maintenance? Yes, the R definition of temperature, displayed on the robot is the temperature of the heater. It means that there is a small gap between actual temperature of the iron tips and the temperature displayed. In some cases, the temperature of the tip may be slightly different from the one displayed. Yes, so as the robot offsets the gap. And make sure fulfilling the temperature gap between setup and the actual ones. You mean, you should measure the actual temperature of the tip and the displayed temperature of it? And that, by doing this, you can keep the solder in the same temperature range? Yes. Okay, I see. We got three key points which are, tip condition, solder supply position, and tip temperature. And if you check these three things at least, then you can improve soldering automation well. Thank you very much. In addition, these three are the basics. 
but it would be different among customers or products, such as thermal capacity of the your actual work, solderability or components shapes and so on. It really depends on. If you want to know more about improving processes and soldering quality, please contact us through our website. Yes, we have a rich of experience in this area, and can definitely help your operation. Please feel free to contact us anytime. Thank you for watching this video today. Thank you.